Hey goodies, welcome back to my channel. So I saw this Norris challenge on Instagram and I thought it was super, super cute. So I hit all my girls up and I said, hunty, we are doing this, you know, cause quarantining got us all crazy in the house and everything. So I already recorded my ugly part and now it's just time to slay on y'all. So keep watching if you'd like to see how I achieve this look. We're gonna start off by sculpting our brows. When I tell you I'm addicted to how my brows look, I'm addicted so we gonna be here for a minute we gonna be here for a minute um, 90 percent of the brushes that I use in all of my videos are gonna be Sephora collection brushes so no need to ask with an exception of like a beauty blender or maybe some special edition brushes but I will always mention them if they are not Sephora collection after I shape my brows with my brow pencil that I honestly got from the dollar store, no, not the dollar store, that I got from my local beauty supply store, it's not a particular brand, I'm gonna go ahead with my Too Faced Blurring Concealer and I'm gonna use that to um, highlight underneath my brows just to define them. I don't define the top of my brows, just the bottom, because I feel like it'd be impossible to blend the top once you do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring the concealer down to on top of my eyelid only because I'm going to be wearing shadow today, something I don't wear very often. Once again, back at it again with the brows. So hard on my brows all the time because I, because once your brows are perfect, everything else will fall into place. Your brows literally shape your face. All right, and now I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty, Huda, Huda, I think it's Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty um, palette. It's one of the mini palettes that I honestly got at Sephora. I don't even know what color I'm using to be honest, but it's all from that Huda Beauty palette. I'm gonna just go in and blend everything out as best as I can. I'm not quite done with my eyeshadow yet, but I just felt as if I was bringing it up a little bit too much. And then also, um, I like on top of my, um, underneath my brow bone to look pretty warm. So I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Press Powder and I'm gonna be using that along my brow bone to just clean up a little bit of the shadow that I was using and also to just make it look a lot more golden and warm because this is a matte look that I'm going for. Once we're all set with that, I'm gonna go ahead with my Smashbox. Is that a Smashbox palette? Yes, I'm gonna go ahead with my Smashbox palette. And I think I was using a brown. And I'm gonna be putting that like in that V area, in my crease, you know, to give a little definition. I know I said this was supposed to be a matte look, but per usual, I got so annoyed with just doing my eyeshadows that I was like, all right, I'm done. But it just looked a little too plain, so I had to put just a little shimmer in there. I had to put a little something, something because it just wasn't enough. It wasn't doing enough. Also went back into my Smashbox Double Exposure Palette, and I got one of the highlighted colors, and I'm gonna be using that on the lid and I just put it on the center of my lid on both of them nothing too crazy but I did feel like it was just too 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 bland obviously I wasn't satisfied because I went in with my Anastasia palette afterwards now I'm taking that off I'm gonna dust away all of the extra powder Yes. 
refresher spray. I'm gonna be using my Caudalie Grape Refresher Spray to just prime my face. It's not really a primer, but it helps to keep my skin hydrated underneath my makeup. Fire, 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 fire. And then I'm going back in with my Too Faced Blurring Concealer once again. And I'm gonna conceal my under eyes how I normally do. So earlier I watched a video from Jackie Elena and she's what really inspired me to do this makeup look. In her tutorial, she contoured and highlighted her face and then went ahead and did her foundation traditionally afterwards. So that is what I am going to be mimicking. I will link her video in the description box below as well. Here we go because I don't know why I decided that I wanted to follow this because I know I don't know how to contour my nose every time I contour my nose it looks crazy and what is that what is that I look like a dinosaur. What is that? But you know what? The show must go on, honey. I already started this and we gonna finish today. We gonna slay. We gonna look like a honey because we gotta do our no rush challenge. I'm gonna just keep blending till my hands fall off because I obviously don't have a choice. So after I do all of this, I'm gonna go ahead and I uncontour my face. After I highlight and contour my face, all of the remaining areas on my face, I'm going to put my foundation on. So my boyfriend was playing with me. I thought he was really sneezing, but he was really just playing around with um, TikTok. I was about to kill him. And this is the unit we're gonna be wearing today. We just go position her on my head, you know, get her right. In case you guys are wondering, she is, she is a glueless front to unit. I'm just applying her on my head, and this is the finished look. This was my finished look for my Get Ready With Me challenge. All I needed to do is put, you know, my gloss on so my lips look nice and popping. But this is she. This is her. I was working on my, my Savage challenge, y'all. Goodies, thank you for watching. Love you. Go broke never on my grind. She make it clap like I'm bust around. Coronavirus!